Celeste is Elizabeth's tormented former employee, and my way into her was really just feeling like seeing a dreaded ex, seeing someone that you were so emotionally uh, wholly intertwined with. Hi, Greta. How Hi. are you? Good, how are you? I'm loving everything about your look. Thank you. Uh, amazing, incredible. Thank you. <laughs> you were in Los Spookies yes. with Julio as well. Yes. What is he like as a collaborator? What makes you want to come back to working with him? Well, he puts you in a binding contract for the rest of your life, so I actually don't have a choice. No. He's, um, he's like the most collaborative person. He also is extremely trusting of everyone he works with, so... There's an immediate feeling of actually wanting to hear what you have to say and how you feel and not just like feigning it. And um, he makes you feel really confident. So I think that's such a blessing. Like you can't ask for a better thing than to feel confident in your choices and your feelings. And he is the most supportive person of I'm speaking for all of our friends in Los Spookies, all of our friends in Problemista. Like, he is just the most supportive person to his community. And it gives me hope for uh, the creative future. So, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Now, who is Celeste in Problemista, and what was your way into her? Celeste is Elizabeth's tormented former employee. And my way into her was really just feeling like seeing a dreaded ex, seeing someone that you were so emotionally uh, wholly intertwined with, intertwined, entwined with, and um, knowing that you're going to have to face them and hoping that that day can be on your terms. And of course it's not, so yeah. That's okay. One and day I've it will be. many of those yeah, days. I see so that. I see, that. exactly. Yeah. I feel that from you. I don't always get to look like this when I run into people I don't want to see. <laughs> now, Alejandro wants to make unique toys. Yes. If there was one toy that were to describe your childhood, your sense of wonder, what was it? What was your favorite toy? Okay, do you remember those, like... <laughs> Those like plasticky, like silicone-y, like jelly things that you could do this with and it would like fold inside itself a million times. It was kind of like a flashlight in like a weird way, but like more gelatinous. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, I loved that thing. And I also was obsessed with this like beaded frog. It wasn't really a toy, but I thought it was so beautiful. I love that. Yeah. Thank oh, you. And I love a snow globe. Okay, there you go. There you go. So you, you just, you, you've got the range. You've got the range. Well, thank you so much. Have a great night. Have a great night.